Hello there, minions of technology. My name is Tim Lee. Welcome to Legacy Studio back in the VR basement, as I like to call it, uh, which we haven't done any VR down here in a while. But long story short, we're playing some more video games today. Missed for Revelation. This is going to be episode number 31. I left so many people so angry in episode number 30. We have a lot of comments to look at today. <laughs> Um, and because we have so many to look at today, I have purposefully only loaded up channel members. Remember, this is very important that our legacy historians, William Poneth, Sean Hammond, Tony Allen, and Ryan Benson, our legacy historians, and all of our other early access members get to see these videos before you do. So if you're not a channel member yet, remember that I take the comments from my members very seriously because there are chances to cause some hints and spoilers that our members would not want you to do. So we lean towards our members for our comments to make sure that we're not spoiling it for all of you guys. And then then we look at your comments if you have any thoughts. I know that there's a bunch of people who have commented that aren't members. We're sitting you off to the side for the moment to focus on them. All right, let's go ahead and take a look at what all of the channel members had to say about episode number 30. I think I made some people a little frustrated with me. Aber Babylon, Lord of the Lost. I have to come back right here. 3421, I'm screaming, LOL, with two likes. So apparently I messed up somewhere. Now I could just click this and immediately see that in the video, but I have a feeling that would be considered slightly a spoiler. So I'm not going to do that. Uh, I don't think this is a spoiler, so if someone can let him know, that would be swell. Read more. Now, it has two likes, so I'm going to assume that one of my other channel members, like Sean Hammond down here or someone else, might have chimed in on this. So I'm going to go ahead and pull the read more down, and let's see. There is a cutscene at the end of both Spire and Haven that take you back to the beginning of the age, allowing you to leave with all of its knowledge. You technically don't have to do the one in Haven, but it's my favorite cutscene, and I'd like for you to enjoy it as well. All right, good to know. Thanks for letting me know, that's awesome. Uh, that puzzle was such a pain in the butt. LOL, congrats. Thank you so much, Aber Babylon. Okay, Sean Hammond. This man is incredibly good at writing his comments to make sure that we don't do any spoilers. Sean Hammond, one of our legacy historians, you're correct. There is one last thing to do in Spire. It kind of makes a little sense once you know it, but I think the game just expects you to experiment to find the solution. And I really don't want to do it because I have a feeling it has to do with that weird little harpsichord thing that no one likes. All the information you need is on that floor, though not in the journal. You don't need to go anywhere else. Solution below. I might not look at it yet. Note, there is one particular piece of information you need to see after you solve this last puzzle, but before you leave Spire, it will be right next to you, but it's easy to miss. Okay, I'm going to wait on that. I'm not going to read any further just yet. Congrats to Freaking Puzzle from Tony Allen, a supporter not only on my Facebook, but here as well. And then, let's see, Sean Hammond, congratulations on the end of, as the end of Spire nears. That's episode 29. And we're going to leave the rest to the backside right now. So let's go ahead and hop into the game here. Now, thankfully, I learned how to make this game in windowed mode. I'm <laughs> very, actually, very, very thankful about that because that makes it so much easier to record. So are you guys ready? Let's get into it. We're going to load up the game and head back in to... <laughs> What's the point? <laughs> All right, let's see what happens here. Well, thankfully, where we left off last time, I can get right back into Spire with just a click of a button. So in we go once again. Now, my fear that I'm really not looking forward to is the fact that probably to solve the next part of this puzzle, I'm going to have to literally redo whatever that 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 spider lit thing is, which I, d I really don't want to do again. So... I'm assuming that's what I'm going to have to do, and I'm going to end up working my way back there. So let me go ahead and quickly just jump around here to get a little closer to where I need to be, because I really just don't want to spend forever when I have a feeling I need to go back downstairs to here and get back on the spider thingy. <sighs> oh, did I find this before? I don't think I remember this. I really don't think I remember this. Um, 
Was that a happy accident? Because I don't have that saved. Quartz samples visibly affected when cables 1, 2 set correctly and 3 is powered by less than 5. So I think we solved this without even trying, which is interesting. Must be hearing point of total molecular disruption. We'll conduct one final test to be sure. So... I find it interesting that that was probably laying there and I never saw it and none of you ever told me about it. Is that really the case that that I had been walking by that this whole time? Really? I'm unimpressed, guys. Y y I mean, come on. Y you leave all these comments and th I mean, I thought I was able to trust you, okay? I <laughs> all right, let's uh Get in this decapitation chair again. Oh, I really don't like that I have to do this again. As far as I know. As far as I know. I'm, I'm going to give it a few minutes. And then if I can't figure it out, then I'm going to have to probably go to the comments and see what you guys say about this. It does not give me good feelings. I don't get good happy vibes here, okay? Okay, there's no getting off of this part here. And admittedly, all my notes are upstairs, so I'm gonna have to run upstairs and probably grab my notes if I remember where I put them. <laughs> and, uh... That might be a necessity. I can get up here, right? Yes, because I can walk up those. So... I love the fact that whatever I've missed has annoyed some of you. <laughs> and my only hope is that in that extreme annoyance, uh, I mean, Can't lift these out of here. I was able to make two of them. Question is, why would I want to make two of them? And understand, I haven't done any research as of yet. And it's been about two weeks since I've played. And yes, I know you guys are loving the fact that uh, I only play like every two weeks. But uh, that is a bit of the situation in, in, in going on right now. Interesting that there are three tubes here. So what if I did that? Is there a reason why I would want to deactivate that? Because I have these two crystals here now, right? Which I have decided I can't move because all I've enjoyed doing is banging it around. Hmm. Oh, that's a reflection, okay. I was like, why is there an animal on the side of this thing, but it's supposed to be a reflection? I, I, the, the, the gut instinct tells me to leave that on. You know? Gut instinct says leave it on.
Um, I admit, because I have no idea... I don't think I have a pencil and paper down here. I got a notepad. I got a sharpie. Maybe I can make that work. I do have a piece of paper. Um, oh, I have a pen. What do you know? I have a pineapple. I have a pen. Pineapple pen. Why was that a popular thing? Oh, pineapple pen. Um, I just had a thought now that I could see would be very interesting. Now that this is tuned. Now that this is... And, and this is probably the complete wrong direction, but now that we've tuned this thing to play properly, the thought that comes to my mind is, what if I go and I get the notes that are on Mom and Dad's little doohickey thing here? that they're holding and try and play them. And and just just because I don't think this is actually going to further the story, but it would be pretty cool if uh, if something happened because I did that. Okay, down one more. And we'll see what happens. This one's for you, Mom and Dad. I mean, you guys have continued to come back to me and say you have to try things. So what would be the thing that you would think to kind of maybe possibly do next if you were in the mind of Cirrus? And and honestly, this is the one that comes to mind first, so why not try it? Okay. I don't hear anything. Oh, because it's affecting the lights. It's not affecting the sound. So technically, if I want to affect... Well, here's a question. What? Oh, okay. Okay, I kind of forgot that that was the programming to do that. Um, and I don't remember what the other programming was, so... This still might play a role of some sort, which I don't know, but... Now here's a question. What? I just sent one through the system. So what happens to the one that I just sent through the system? Even though I already had one. Uh, did I find a game? Uh, uh, a game fumbling. Alright, well, anyway, let me do this re real quick. So, 10, 5, and 5. And, of course, the other one is 12, 12, and 12. Now, the other question I have is with the little things on the right, that two of those are lit in green, and there's one that seems like it's off or lit in blue or something of that nature. Could that mean that there is one more place that I could make a crystal and send that data? You know, send... Because, look here, there's three pipes, but only two of these... I have a, th I have a feeling I might be thinking too hard about this, but... Those two 
go that way. But... What is this one? Isn't that a pipe too? I feel like... Th is that just a power supply? It's turned on by that. Where's it go, though? No, that's a power. That's a power cable. That's a power cable. That... I really feel like I'm thinking too hard about that, but let me try this. There's only two of these, right? Yeah, there's only two of those. That's a power c cable, isn't it? Where's it go to? Right here. Oh, does it go down? That might go down. I'll check that out in a second. First, I want to see this. First, I want to waste all of our time and try this theory. say I like his uh, musical contributions to the world. run down to the lower chair and check to see about that extra power wire. I don't think it's down here, though. I think that extra power wire represents... admit I don't want to touch these at all. What do I have this at? One, two, three. I'm pretty sure that's four. Yeah, I think that's four. Four, two, three, four, three. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven, four, three, seven. Just for giggles. I just wanted to try and mess them all up, but that's not what I was supposed to do, I guess. So let me do this really quick. 
and I'll reset them back to what I had. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Hopefully I put that back the way it was. <laughs> I hope anyway, I have no idea. I see this... What is this thing here? That goes over that way, comes down here, and then slides around this thing and then randomly disappears. Is that part of this whole system? That's part of this whole system. Right? Sure doesn't look like it. Almost looks like it's part of the mountain back there or something. Okay, we're gonna assume that that's part of the system and I'm just overthinking it. Nope, that was not part of the system. It stayed down there, so I have no idea what that wire's for. And like I said, at this stage, I think I'm overthinking 90% of this. What do you think? Look at the comments. Look at the comments. We're going to the comments. All right, let me go ahead and pull it up here. Just for giggles, I'm gonna go ahead and go back to here. Scroll down. Let's go to full screen. Is it full screen? Oh. Uh, hmm. Oh, my bad. I gotta flip a switch, I think. I think I gotta flip this switch. There we go. All right. All right, Lewis Winsberg. I've waited on this one. Please read my comment. Go back down to the chair. I'm scared to read this. I'm honestly scared to read this. I'm not reading it yet because I feel like that might be a giveaway Maybe they're giving away too much information, so I'm going to go look for a couple other ones first. There's more to do, Inspire. One more puzzle in the room with the throne and the last diary you found. I'm going to wait on that one, too. That's an extra hint. So in the last diary I found. Last diary I found. Was there a handle at the base of the thing that held the two crystals? That might have been the giveaway. Was that the giveaway? I hope that wasn't too much. I, I, that might have been the giveaway. Let's go back to the game and check. That might have been the giveaway that I was trying not to do. But let's see if that's what's actually going on or not. Okay. Um, okay. So let's get out of here. I mean, that would make sense that if that was all it was and that there was a handle at the bottom that I didn't move, that's going to tick me off. Nope, doesn't look like it. So hopefully, see, this is where I can grab. I see the handle down here, but it's not a handle. It won't let me grab it. If I slowly move my hand up this thing, it's not changing. And even here, nothing. 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 It's just moving it from side to side. So I don't think that that is it. So maybe that spoiler is good. Let's do this, though. Let me go look at the journal again. And I'm just going to flip through it here real quick. Did this get me last time? I feel like I wanted to, like, rip this page or something, and... And it's not doing anything if it did. I mean, sure, that switches it up and 
closed. Uh, let me just look through here really quick. Let's see if I find any codes that I'm forgetting about. I doubt it. wonder if this has something to do with it. No, he made that to make his mom think that he was getting better. It require a very delicate touch. wonder if he still enjoys playing. Okay, I do recall this. I shall even... Uh, I will even use that to my advantage. Retrofitting the old Crystal Caverns proceeds as scheduled. Uh, uh, let's see. Stars that have solid rock walls explode at the top of me. No, I cannot do the... Uh, he, he cannot do this. Bring her into this. I will not allow it. I will not allow the child. Blah, blah, blah. So on so forth. Looking at pictures. I found the frequency. I'm assuming I'm supposed to figure out what that frequency is. with the frequencies. I don't want to. I don't want to. Mm, I don't want to. Mm, okay. Hang on. Hang on. Let me... Let me turn this back on and let's have another look at the comments. I don't think this is spoiler, so if someone can let him know, that would be swell. There's a cutscene at the end of both Spire and Haven... Uh, take you back to the beginning of the age, allowing you to leave with all of its knowledge. You technically don't have to do the one in Haven, but it's my favorite. Okay. I'm screaming LOL. The Joyful Dragon. Now, Joyful Dragon's been with us for a little bit. I think they know not to mess with it. Let's see. There's more to do in Spire. One more puzzle in the room with the throne and the last diary you found. I actually really like that puzzle. It's one of the few examples in this game of a puzzle not feeling gamey. It feels like an old-school missed puzzle where you had to treat the world as a real place, where the solutions were not what you'd expect from a video game. Go back down to the chair and try perhaps not catching the crystal without the cup. And try perhaps not catching the crystal without the cup. <sighs> okay. I just don't want to mess this up for everyone. Like, I don't want to get overly hintified and the next thing you know I'm spoiling it because I... I went too far with the hints. I but at the same time I feel like I did try this. I do feel like I tried this. I feel like I tried this where did I? Okay, so let's put this 12 12 12. Let's just go and try this. I and let's make sure that this is turned on so it supplies power instead of playing musical instruments. And hopefully I didn't mess up the programming downstairs. Because <laughs> that would just be a thing that Tim Lee would do. Yep, yep, yep. Okay. <sighs> Alright. So the first one would need to be 12, 12, and 12. This is easy to do. Okay, that's a pretty obvious giveaway. So... I don't want to do the other one yet. I want to go see what damage I just did, because that's... And the whole music just changed. 
Oh! 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 Oh? Oh. Oh, wait, wait, uh, hey, whoa, no, wait, I saw something I, that I probably should have touched. I saw something dangling. I, mm, I might have messed this up. I went too far, didn't I? Oh, boy. We are recording this, right? Because, oh. Oh, oh, what? What? What on earth is going on here? This is kind of awesome, whatever it is. This. Whoa, it looks like a clock. I mean, like, it looks like an honest to goodness, like, watch. Inner workings of a watch. That's kind of cool. I feel like his hand opened somewhere around here. Like, right there. Whoa, why did it freak out there? Oh. 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 Hang on. Um. Purple. Red. Red. Teal. Purple. Blue. Purple, red, red, teal, purple, blue. I'm gonna, I mean, yes, I wrote that down, but I'm gonna do this in, in better detail because it looks like it's supposed to stay like this for so this is going to be purple red red teal purple blue now do i need to go back down and try that other one or or was that all i had to do uh wait did it just close it closed It doesn't even look like something that you would use. And if I go back up, is there another... Uh, was there a memory with this? No. Well, you, you had a copyright infringement place every other where. Why not here? I mean, come on. Okay, so I'm going to go up here just to see if there is a jump cut or, you know what I'm, a storyline cut. I mean, technically, this would make sense why you would then come up here, because this is the moment that you've come here. So technically, this would make sense that you would come up here, but... I just want to see one other thing, which probably probably would work either way. It would probably work whether you use the cup in one side or the other, uh, the, or, or the other. But now I'm just curious, just because I, I, we probably. I admit I'm with you guys. I feel like this is solved much more than before, but my curiosity is still there. And you gotta admit that was kind of. Cool, that jump cut 
coming up through all that electricity and stuff. That was that was kind of cool. So I see," said the blind man. This is going to be copyright infringement. You know it is. Oh, it throws you. That's what's going on. So he couldn't go any higher, so this thing launches him. But then how do you... I'm overthinking a video game. So now it's locked you into the next... Okay. You gotta admit, Sirius is kind of a genius. Cirrus is kind of a genius. Okay. It's very awkward to say that I actually did this to myself. Okay. So, can I go down now? That's telling me that I don't have to do anything else. But then at the same time... the puzzle that someone mentioned that they enjoyed the most. If this is up here... I have a whole different thought in my head now. I'm... over time, so we're just gonna go with this anyway, because who cares? Um, I gotta remember where I'm going. What is this? I forgot this. What is this? What is this? I can't say I recall what this is. Interesting. I can't say I remember what this is, so I'm gonna do this anyway, and it's been two weeks, what can I say? Don't judge me. So I'm gonna take this down and find my way back to the bottom, because cause now my curiosity is the thing that was there before that, that, w that fell over and off into oblivion or whatnot. Oh, I'm right where I should be, aren't I? I'm literally right where I sh should be. Because I can keep going down, can't I? G give me the handle. Give me the... Give me the handle. Thank you. Alright, there we go. Okay. See, I'm not that much of an idiot. And, and I'm sure I'm wasting time. But, I just, I'm curious. I want to see... Oh, technically my chair might not even be here anymore now that I'm thinking about it, right? So there's extra little elements here that I'd be very curious to... I mean, just, just for my own... No, chair's here. Why would the chair be, be here? <laughs> Why would the chair be here? So the chair is... Huh. Very interesting. Hang on, I'm just in... I'm just in curiosity mode now. I still have not figured out what those three crystals are on the right side. And hey, th it's done. If you don't want to stick around, go. I mean... <laughs> so I'm assuming that either or would have done the same effect, but because I am so diligent to making sure that things are done right, that I was able to actually do things right, which messed everything up. So here's the question I have now. Let's pop up and go take a look. And maybe I have oversolved the game, and maybe the elevator is still here. No? Okay. Elevator's gone. Second thing now is... Whoa. Whoa. Look at the canisters. Whoa. Okay. 
Uh, those aren't gonna work anymore. <laughs> oh, yeah. Okay, so that's interesting. So just for giggles, now I kind of want to try 1055. Just because. And the other thing. Okay, I can't go back up. Because the elevator's up. So there's no button to bring the elevator back down? Because they weren't thinking about someone actually trying this hard, huh? Okay. Well, I'm going to go do 1055 anyway because I am a perfectionist, I guess. I guess. I really don't know if I'm a perfectionist or not. I'm ADD and dyslexic, so same thing, right? Here we go. So the same thing would have happened. Same thing would have happened. I think that's fair to say the same thing would have happened. Bada bing, bada boom, takes you upstairs, sends you out, you're good. Right? Okay. Mm-hmm. But what about the frequency? <laughs> Have I made it to the end now? <laughs> you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to go check the comments. I'm going to go check the comments. That's exactly what I'm going to do. Where is this comment? Where is this comment? Go back down the chair and try uh, not catching the crystal without the cup. You're missing something if you don't. And you will need to, to, to get through this game at another age. You have the code. So I'm assuming that's the code that we got from the, the thingamabob or whatchamacallit, the whozamo, what's it with the gears that we found the colors of the purple, red, red, teal, purple, blue. Which probably has to do with colored clouds, as someone likes to talk about. I don't know about the colored clouds. I don't know about the colored clouds. So I'm assuming that's the colored clouds. Okay. <laughs> oh, I really hope that I actually got that right. Um... Uh, let's see what this comment says. Uh, was there a handle at the base of the uh, thing that held two crystals? I also noticed that you solved the 36 crystals two different ways. Uh, the one way I think made it easier was to use the capsule to go the other island uh, to the other island and then come back and reset it. 2018 smiley face with the clouds. Oh, my C Prince is the one who was mentioning the clouds. Should I click on this and see what this is? All the way through. Oh, I watch every each episode all the way through in real time. The puzzle with the sliders would have been too hard for me. I did miss <laughs> myself. Most of Riven, but disc five had a scratch and wouldn't work. But some years later, I, I saw a playthrough and realized it was beyond me. Exile, I played with a friend, and even when we looked up it, uh, even then we looked up bits, and then I played Revelation, and I played Revelation but don't remember this. And as I keep saying, I got stuck at the, the clouds. The clouds! He keeps mentioning the clouds! Um, I don't understand why Cyan, etc. didn't do something like Mist Rivens. I'm coming back to this here. 3421, I'm screaming, LOL. I need to see what this is. I really hope you guys are screaming over there that I missed something, because that is so... Ridiculously anticlimactic. <laughs> what did I get from that? What? <laughs> Alright. Now we can wrap up the video. Oh, my friends, I hope that you enjoyed that. I really do hope that you enjoyed that. That that was that was fun. I think we have a long way to go. The journey does continue, uh, but I deeply appreciate each and every one of you. Um, can I say that the the most amazing part of deciding to sit down in front of a camera with a microphone at 35 years old and and do this thing, playing games, making videos, whatever I'm doing. The most amazing part about all of this is that there is someone on the other end who appreciates the effort. And that's honestly huge to me, that there are people who are leaving comments and enjoying and connecting. I mean, 
that's all I ever asked for. That's all I ever wanted. And so you're here, and I, I really deeply appreciate you guys. I really, really do. And when I make fun of you, when I keep joking about colored clouds and how frustrated this one person, you know, I it's honestly just because I am really thriving in my in my connection with you. I deeply appreciate it. Uh, there is a, a verse that uh, comes to mind. I keep telling you guys in every single episode, you should really try and get U version, which allows you to have a Bible on your phone. You can literally have a verse pop up on your on your screen every day. Um, and a verse really hit me the other day that I want to share with you guys, and that is Psalms 32.8. And I tried me- tried to memorize it. Let's call this Tim's paraphrase. Um, and it says... Uh, I will instruct you in the way you should go, and I will counsel you with my eye upon you. And uh, at the point in time that I read that, I needed to hear that desperately. As I'm sitting in a situation where I'm going, what am I supposed to do right now, Lord? What am I supposed to do? And that verse popped up. Um, I just want to share that with you. Go and figure out what the whole chapter is about. Psalms is an incredible book. Um, Go and read it for yourself and find out what makes it special. Okay? Keep it crispy. First Tim 412. I love you guys, and I'll see you next time right here on Legacy Studio. Another episode of (laughs) Mist 4 Revelation. The journey continues, and maybe we'll have a little bit more luck with the colored clouds. (sighs) Ah. All right. See you next time, guys. Bye.